I have a bunch of colors mixed up that I have already got into bottles. I'm using Deco Art products today, and uh, some I've put into new bottles, and some are ones I've used before. And uh, it's easier when I do this style of artwork to do it in the squeeze bottles because then I can have more control just squeezing it straight out of the bottle. So I wanted to show you just basically this is the last color I need to mix up. This is Ocean Blue by Deco Art. I'm going to put some here in the cup. That's probably about an ounce. I use 50-50 Floetrol with all my colors and white and black. So I'm going to add the Floetrol in to, about, to make it about two ounces there. And anytime you add Floetrol or whatever, it's going to make your paint look a little lighter, but it will dry back deeper to the color that it's supposed to be. Make sure to scrape around all the sides. Sometimes I pour it straight into the bottle. I was just going to show you this though, how I do it to get the consistency I need and then I know it's the right consistency before I put it into the bottle. So this is actually just about right. It's a touch thick. So here's a bottle of water I have. And actually on these canvases that are larger scale where I try to do it in a little bit more of an art type flare where the paint, I still do the 50-50 flow trial. I might not add as much water, but I don't add a ton of water to any of these. I just do enough to get it to the, the consistency where it pours off the stick. So that is good right there. So now I'm going to transfer it into my bottle. And some of these smaller amounts of paint, I typically just leave in the cup. But I wanted to show you how I mixed it first and then transferred it into a bottle. You know, if I'm doing a large scale bottle, then I'll obviously do it in a larger cup. But I'm not going to be using a ton of this color. So I just wanted to show you how it's got mixed and put into another bottle and then I add my silicone or treadmill lubricant straight into the bottle. So a lot of my colors have been in bottles maybe you know a few days a week or two it, I just continually add paint to them. The silicone is in the bottle and it works fine. So this is ready to go. And um, this is one of my smaller bottles, but I don't have a lot of small bottles. They're more of the condiment bottles uh, that you can get at the dollar store or anywhere. But these are kind of flimsy. As you can see, they don't have a lot of strength in the plastic. This is a heavier duty body, bottle that has a screw on cap. I like these a lot better. They're a heavier plastic weight. I ordered these on Amazon. So, and then, yeah, I said the treadmill lubricant, which is, um, I ordered on line, and you can also use liquid wrench or WD-40, something like that, as a spray. I like to use the drops. They're just easier to control. This bottle has lasted me forever. So I'm putting away my water. I have Floetrol in a bottle, but here's the, the container it came out of, Flood Floetrol, latex based, do not use the oil based. So here's a few more colors I have mixed just for today, for this painting. I have not added the silicone or the treadmill lubricant, so I'm adding that now. This is copper. 
This is a coral that I added a little bit of orange to, even though I have a, a bottle that's straight orange. And then this is the Royal Fuchsia. And I just wanted a little bit of that. So you just give it a couple of stirs. These have all been mixed with Floetrol. Here's another thing I do is this is, you know, obviously something I drank something out of uh, and I put the silver in here and mixed in the, the Floetrol with it. So there's silver paint here. I've got silver, gold, and copper today and I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I've just got it on hand in case I decide to use it. So the first thing I'm going to do, this was from a pour the other day, it's just a little bit of paint, is I'm going to start this canvas out. And this is thickened up because it sat for a while. But I'm going to start by spreading a thin layer of the lamp black that's mixed 50-50 with Floetrol. So I have a light layer across my canvas. This is 24 by 36 of the 50-50 with lamp black and Floetrol and a little bit of water. Um, so this gives me my base to start with. That's a little bit wet. I have a lot of colors today. I really like to use a lot of color. So I'm going to kind of go with the flow, see where it takes me. I may or may not talk through the video uh, so that I can kind of just kind of let my creative process kind of flow. So it may be a quiet video. That's dioxazine purple. This is pizzazz. Purple pizzazz. I'm gonna have to cut the opening.
I've been working on it for some time and the black is definitely drying and that's okay I'm gonna leave it I've got some touch-ups to do but um, for the most part the black has been drying See, if this were in a squirt bottle, I could be squirting it, but I have to layer it in with my stick. And I want to keep that space. And the black.
I didn't use the glitter paint. I'm scared to use it because I don't know if it'll show up. So I'm going to put that aside. I didn't use the silver. I pretty much used all the other colors I had. So that's got a wide range of color here. This is a very colorful one for sure. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.